School's out. Summertime's here. Yes. yes. <laughs> the junior players all around the country are trying to find as many places to play as they can and get their games sharp for the big tournaments they've got going on this summer and also to begin to think about their futures. Chris Schramm, the Tournament Operations Associate for the IJGA and the IJGT, is here to join us. Chris, welcome to the show. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. Great to be here. All right. It is time to kick off the summer season of the International Junior Golf Tour. Uh, we've got some tournaments around Hilton Head Island. When are we going to get started? Absolutely. We start next Tuesday and Wednesday out at Crescent Point. Wow. Great tournament. We, uh, we follow up that July 11th and 12th out at Oyster Reef, and then we finish up our local summer series July 22nd and 23rd at the Country Club at Hilton Head. Well, those are venues that are definitely very popular with the juniors, so they definitely should get good feels. Let's talk about your association with the um, College Golf Camps of America, where the college coaches come in and how that went and what we have coming up there. Yeah, it's a great partnership. It's a great way for kids to showcase their talents to college coaches. This year, we have one coming up, July 14th and 15th out at Hampton Hall. It's gonna have 10 to 20 college coaches. It's a great way for the kids to come out, showcase their skills, have personalized one-on-one -on -one interaction with college coaches, we also have a few more events coming up with them in Dallas, Texas, and Orlando later on this summer. And we've talked about this before, Chris. This is a yeah. great event for the, the high school student who maybe is just, you know, his game is just coming to fruition, so to speak. He hasn't been any on any college coach's radar, and he's finally getting seen for the first time. True? Correct. Yeah, it's a great way for them. It gives them some guidance on where they want to go. Maybe they want to go to a big school or a small school. This is a great way for them to to figure it out, have great personalized attention, and show there's a two-round competition. It's a great competition for the coaches too, to gauge where the player's at. Yeah, a any tweaking to the one you did this spring? Because that was kind of the the initial one. Usually there's a little bit of a learning curve for on everybody's side. Uh, gonna do things any differently this summer? It's gonna be pretty much the same. It was a great okay. turnout, great feedback. Everybody loved it, so we're going to do a little tweaking, not a whole lot, but it's going to be very similar to where it was the first time. All right, now you guys also offer summer programs. They begin, uh, well, they're, they're underway right now, yeah. going through August. What's a typical day entail for, for a junior golfer, and can people still get involved? People can still get involved. Okay. A typical day is 7.30 to 3.30. They get personalized instruction from Kevin Smeltz, who's a top 100 teacher, sure. and is highly certified team of coaches. They focus on everything from short game, chipping, putting, their long game, play nine holes every day. They have uh, physical, physical training, mental training, and after the day, they have we have fun activities for them after with uh, <laughs> with residential instructors. Boy, that's a, that's a lot of training. The it golf, is. It, the physical, the mental, at the end of the day, they have sleep training. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Let's talk about the IJGT fall that. schedule because yeah. that's when the kids are all back, you know, the, the academy kids are back, and that's when you really kick it into gear. Can you give us a little preview on what's going on there? Yeah, our fall series is shaping up to be one of the best ones yet. So we have our Labor Day series up at Hershey Country Club for our Northeast Tour, which is one of our most popular events for our Northeast members. We go to Penn State up in Pennsylvania. We have, we're going down to Disney this year, the Dormy Club in North Carolina. Fun. We have our Thanksgiving tournament at TPC Sawgrass, host of the Players' Championship. And we have our IJGA Invitational at, at Harbor Town. In now, what about um, for the juniors that are watching and the family and friends of juniors that want to get involved in the tournaments, what do they need to do to become a member of the tour and sign up for the events? All you have to do to play in our tournament is become a member. You can go to IJGT.com or call our player services department at 843-785-2444. And we're running a special this summer. If you play in any of our summer events, there's no membership required to play in our summer events. And as you know, a lot of people know, and maybe some don't know, yeah. we have some pretty popular alumni that come out of your events, don't we? <laughs> we do, we, we have uh, some very popular alumni. We have Paula Kramer, who plays on the LPGA Tour. She's a superstar. We have Marta Silva, who is the 2011 NCAA Championship at Georgia. We have Stephanie Meadows, who's a NCAA superstar yeah, at Alabama, Alabama right now. Yeah. We have uh, Ricky Fowler, who used to play on our tour, and Hunter Mayhan. They've, they've all gone through our tour, and they're highly successful. Well, and I would say that definitely is for a pretty good track record, that's wouldn't you that's say? Pretty good endorsements right there, absolutely. Hey, we appreciate all the help, Chris. Uh, thanks for dropping by. Folks can keep up with what's going on because that fall schedule hadn't been set completely yeah. yet. You're going to make the announcement, what, in the next couple of weeks? And where will, will, should folks find that on IJGT.com? Yep, IJGT.com. Okay. All right. Thanks so much, Chris. Thank Appreciate you for having it. me. Chris Schramm, the uh, Tournament Operations Associate for the uh, IJGT.